Hey, we're gonna try the the death ride right now, but it's beautiful out uh, in Crested Butte. We're gonna try and go ride. So gravel tires on pretty much hard packed snow slash ice. Kind of sketchy, but I didn't inflate them. So we're probably rolling about between 40 and 50 PSI right now, which for a road bike is pretty darn low. But I think that'll be best for these conditions. So we're gonna try to ride down to Jack's cabin cut off. See how the wind is. It'll likely be windy on the way in, way home. And yeah, see how State Highway 135 is it's rolling. Normally I'd ride this down to Gunnison, but I think the wind may be a little atrocious. And it's about 20 degrees right now in the sun. So just want to be cognizant of that. I've got a Got a vest on. I think it's a marmot dry climb one, so it's insulated. I've got a hat, arm warmers. I've got insulated uh, zoomy pants. Uh, should be good, but it is looking a little sketch. So we'll see how this goes. My brother-in-law. Big time bike racer. I think he was a Cat 2 or even a Cat 1 at one point. Raced in uh, Chicago land area. And he told me, you know, training in Chicago, there's no such thing as bad riding weather. There's just poor clothing choices. And that advice has really stuck with me through the years. Sometimes it is bad riding weather. <laughs> you know, when there's snow and ice on the ground, you really shouldn't be out. Unless you've got studs. Studded tires, which I have on my mountain bike, which look great on the ice and slick, but horrible in the snow. But that aside, I mean, it's really true, because I've, I've done some really long rides with pouring rain. I've done, like today, it's 40 degrees here. And you know, I'm, to I'm toasty, I'm, I'm fine. And honestly, I'd probably be fine if I had to stop for a while. So, let's see, I'm gonna make a Yui here. So this is a town of Almont. You probably can't see much because of the sun. 